and new real estate rules will impact how realtors get paid. Starting tomorrow, home buyers will have more bargaining power in the process. Local 10's Larry Livingston explaining the changes you need to know about. Because buying a house didn't already involve signing a whole bunch of paperwork before you now even go and look at one, before you pick that perfect house to buy, you'll probably end up having to sign a lot more paperwork. Like a pre-touring agreement, a showing agreement, buyer's broker agreement, a listing agreement, and then the compensation agreements from seller to buyer's broker or seller's broker to buyer's broker. It's going to be a little crazy for the buyers to adjust because it is a change. All the result of a more than $400 million settlement announced earlier this year by the National Association of Realtors changing real estate commission rules and industry policy as we know it. The biggest impact that you're going to have is buyers getting custom to signing a written agreement, which they didn't have to sign before in order to tour a home. Broker so Paulina Hurtado to... says what was customary before sellers paying a buyer's agent is no more. Sellers can now choose to enter into a written agreement to pay a buyer's agent. And on the flip side, now the buyer is going to have to sign the written agreement and then they're going to have to negotiate how compensation is going to be offered to the buyer's broker. As in the person helping me buy the house. Yes. Hurtado says all those fees or commissions will be and have always been negotiable. How much are they getting compensated, whether it's a percentage amount, whether it's a flat fee or whether it's an hourly rate. So that has to be very specific on the written agreement. A new normal and more paperwork that hopefully makes the process more so, transparent. Um, it, and the broker with whom we spoke says these new rules, they only apply to residential sales transactions. No leases involved here, no commercial transactions, just residential. They go into effect August 17th. In Pembroke Pines, Larry Livingston, Local 10 News.